Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Madison. Today, I'm gonna be doing a little vlog day in my life. Kind of normal things that I would do on like a weekend day. It's a, gonna be a pretty busy day. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll leave any links down below in the description box for any items that I will be sharing with you. Um, so let's get into the video. So I have my coffee. I cannot go a morning without coffee. Um, oh, so hot, but so good. Today, because it's like so cold and windy and winter outside, like it's awful. Like nobody goes outside here and at this point. Like you'll see a few like very brave dog walkers going outside, but my dog does not do the snow. She does not do winter. She's very much against it. So we don't have to actually do any of that. So, and it's like minus 35 without the wind chill. So it's awful. So you will not catch me outside unless I absolutely need to be to go to a store from the car. That is at most what I will be doing. Pretty much normally I wake up and I get coffee and I'll do a workout, I'll do my take my vitamins, drink water, write in my journal, yada, yada, yada. I've definitely showed that before in a morning routine, that girl morning routine, whatever you wanna call it. That is a normal morning. So I didn't feel like I needed to show you all of that. So we're just gonna do it a little bit more vlog style. But I also have, I have a bunch of cool things that I wanna show you that came in the mail. So I have a bunch of items I wanna show you. And then I have some updates in the house that I want to show you. I have some things that I need to do today in terms of like like an errand slash like a weird interesting little interview that Stefan's younger sister is interviewing me and I feel like very important but I'm like I don't know what I'm going to be asked. So I thought I would just while I'm in the studio, which is going to be updated shortly, there's a few things that are going to be happening. Um, I'll explain once I start showing you the studio, like some of the updates that I've already made and then some of the updates that I'm going to do. I know I've tried sharing this before in the past, but my ideas have like kind of evolved and changed as I've been using the space and as I've been shifting things out of the space. So as you can tell in the background, there's no desk anymore. I don't know if I've actually shown that yet in the vlogs, but there's no desk and that's for good reason because I have a another room <laughs> next to this one that I actually use as like the office space. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, don't forget to do that. I will leave my handle here for you then you will know that I have another space. Not that I've shown the entire space yet, but I might be able to show a little bit of a snippet of that because, well, it's not actually finished yet. Surprise, surprise, I don't know. Things are never done in this house, like with me always having like cool new ideas and, you know, developing my style. And things just like evolve and it's just like so beautiful and I love kind of changing my space. Not necessarily always buying new furniture, but yes, this house, we don't have enough furniture yet to fill the spaces and they look a little bit like a uh, college dorm. No, I'm not talking about Stefan's office at all. Yes, his office looks like a somebody who goes to like college. I mean, he does have a tech background, so he's not focused on what things look like, but he is just <laughs> focused on sitting on his computer in a like, ergonomic chair at least I you know was able to convince him to get a Herman Miller chair thank god because I don't know what I would have done otherwise but um yeah no none of it just things just need to be changed and updated and small changes here and there big changes so yeah so there's no desk for good reason and you're currently on my couch in the office and I kind of have a weird background going on right now so this corner might change a little bit but and there's like a bunch of crap that needs to be sorted through for like taxes and paperwork and stuff that either is super old that needs to be gone or stuff that just needs to be filed. I just need a better filing system. If anybody has like a good, I don't really want to buy like a file cabinet because that just seems so ridiculous for me to have a file cabinet. But at the same time, I'm like, 
I need to have some place to put things that's more organized than what I currently do because what I currently do is awful. You guys don't need to see what's in that office. Sorry, in that closet. That closet needs to be sorted ASAP and actually so does the other one because the other one is just, well, it's just shoes and like some art pieces. Ooh, I have an exciting art piece that I need to show you guys too. So there's this office, this studio, I need to show you a couple updates. The office, I'm going to show you a couple updates without giving you the entire thing. Um, I painted a new piece that's going to go up in the house. I think in the stairwell so I can show you and I made a few tweaks or added a few little decor pieces into my little makeup slash office slash studio bathroom this all sounds so like frivolous because we're two people in a house with like five bedrooms and four bathrooms which yes there will be a house tour soon 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 once I have more things done hopefully this year but I have just like so much skincare and quite a bit of makeup so what I did was I just kind of separated it because once things get like too intermingled it's like it just gets chaotic for me so all the skincare and all the stuff I'm like trialing and going to be revealing on the blog and on YouTube because you guys actually wanted me to do um, product reviews on YouTube as well so I will definitely film one of those after or in between I'm filming this vlog for you um, so that's all in the master because I just find that like it's this it's all the skincare like people don't need to see that and it's just like all kind of everywhere and they're in drawers and all the hair stuff is also in there so that's all in that bathroom and then in the other bathroom that has you know quite a bit of space it's like a big bathroom I just have all the makeup and like brushes and stuff just on the counter because it just looks it looks a little bit more clean when they're separated and not so chaotic so I have that in that bathroom which I'll show you but I'm going to show you some of the jewelry pieces that came in so I got a bunch of jewelry from this brand called Maison Modu or Modu Atelier whatever Modu Atelier would I will probably be working with them on a regular basis I pretty much I'm not sure if you guys follow my reels or shorts or anything but I tend to feature some of their pieces in those not as like a big mention for them but just like I kind of just show them as like how I'm styling them and I will be doing maybe a few more like selective styling videos for the pieces but I love the brand, so huge shout out to them for making really great, affordable, minimalistic, and beautiful pieces. And for me, they do, like I love gold and stuff, so you guys know that. So obviously they send me all the gold pieces and they send me a bunch of new spring stuff, which is great. But they also do silver. And the price ranges are, the price range is fantastic, honestly. So if you want to get some jewelry that is you know, really nice and inspired by, you know, elevated, more expensive jewelry, then they're definitely a brand to follow or to purchase from. I would even say, like, t for me, they're on the same playing field as Mijuri, but honestly, I like some of the styles better, but then Mijuri has some styles that I like better too. So I would say that they kind of have, like, a little balancing act, and I would compare the two while the price of Maju is a little bit lower than Mijuri's so I find that you're going to get a better bang for your buck and I haven't had any issues with any of their jewelry so I definitely recommend their products so I'm going to show you a few items I have a series of stuff and you'll be seeing those in styling videos upcoming so we will you know you'll see them there but a piece so these earrings that you guys have probably seen in a bunch of my um, styling reels and stuff. Okay, so these are earrings that you guys would have seen in a bunch of my reels and shorts. I wear them a lot. They're beautiful when they're on. They're just like a very simple croissant, like old school looking type earring. You guys can kind of tell that they're a very nice amount of earring on your ear they're not like too over empowering for the face and I don't remember 
I think these ones are... I don't remember the prices. And the prices are on the bags, but I don't actually... Some of the bags, it's... Like, I tried to keep the other ones over here. So I don't know if these ones are 100 and... Or they could be around 60. I don't know. Sorry. But these are really nice. Another piece that they sent me previously was this really beautiful gold chain necklace. I'm sure you guys have seen. Who is it that does this one? It's like a really big designer. Is it Celine? I don't know, but there's a designer that does a chain like this, and it's really chunky. So I've even paired this over top of um, a turtleneck, and I just find that it's so flattering. And I just love where it sits. I've also stacked this one. So I think this one was around 100 or 100 and a bit. And then there's also, this is another one. It's another one that they've sent me. It's like a nice like rope chain. So I'm sure you guys know this is like a very famous style of necklace and I've also done this over a turtleneck and I've layered this one as well. So a few of the new spring pieces that they sent me, I'm sure you guys have all seen me wear necklaces like this. Very just like simple flat, um, flat necklaces and this is something I would also layer. This one is $24. Can you believe that? Like I have ones that are a little bit more expensive. And of course, like if you get a full on pure gold one, yes, like it's gonna be much more expensive. But if you just want something to have fun with and layer, that's perfect. Um, another necklace they sent me is this nice, really dainty chain. This one guys is $18 really good quality for $18. This is something that I will be layering as well. And they also sent me this really, really beautiful pearl necklace. It's like very organic shaped pearls. So I have a really cute spring outfit that I want to pair this one with and I think it'll be absolutely perfect. This one is $48. So guys, it's a steal. And then I have a couple pairs of earrings as well. They sent me these really cute, they're super small and dainty organic pearl hoops that go actually with the necklace. And I think they did that on purpose because they might want me to do a little video with them together, which is cool because I actually really like how small they are. This one didn't have a price on it, so I'm sorry guys, but I don't know, I can't imagine. If the necklace is 48, these must be like, way less expensive and then the last piece that I'm going to show you for the spring one is these really beautiful super small dainty and, and again croissant dome kind of hoops they're super small you guys can tell they're smaller than the other pair that I have which I kind of like because then it won't be like as bold on the face um, and I think they did that on purpose because they knew that I liked my other one so much so they wanted me to do like or wanted me to have something that's a little bit different but also very similar which I like having the option these ones are 68 and I think they're perfect like and I've never had an issue with the earrings I've worn them for like a full 24 hours and like I have super sensitive ears usually I can't wear anything that's really like fake or anything but these are plated so it makes it easy to wear. I'm sure that if it starts like wearing down it might kind of cause some irritation but just like keep that in mind if you do get irritated easily like me then you might not want to you know wear something that's fake but just make sure that it's the right material. Just saying. But that is all I'm going to show you for those items I hope you guys like them and I like I said I'll leave the link down below but definitely go and shop them they're like such a cute little company and you guys will see them on my Instagram too like how cute is the packaging they like care so much about what the branding looks like and ugh, the stuff like 
there's so many more pieces that I would love to have. So I am very thankful that I get to, they just send me pieces and I just incorporate them in my styles and it's very fun. And I do not mind doing that with a brand that I truly want to see flourish. Now I guess I will show you guys some of the stuff that I am doing in the studio. It's a little bit of a mess. Oh no wait, I have a few Zara pieces that I want to show you guys before we do the studio kind of tour update. So give me a minute. So if you guys don't already follow me on TikTok, please go do that. I will also leave the handle here for you. I know this is just like a huge like calling myself out, but it really does help and it really does help if you see the video and if you like it, please give it a subscribe and a like because the engagement is honestly just like super crucial and it helps me out a little bit. Yes, TikTok will see kind of these little like haul videos first just because why not? And then it'll come on here as well and then Instagram will get to see all the styling. That's kind of just the way I want to do it. I got a few pieces from Zara and I'm trying to like find a few more pieces to do for a spring haul. I have a bunch of H&M stuff as well and I will be doing like once the snow calms down a little bit I need to do a bigger spring haul because I have a very exciting video in the works with a brand. It'll be my first YouTube sponsorship which is super super exciting. So you'll see that coming up. But these pieces, I picked up four new pieces from Zara. And so I have this first piece here, which is this little crop cardigan with a, with like these pearl button details. It's kind of like a little play on like that Jacques Mousse cardigan that has like Jacques Mousse in the middle, which I absolutely love. But like, do I really want to pay like $350 for a tiny little cardigan that I will honestly never be able to wear more than one time because I can't wear that to work <laughs> like it like has that logo here which is it's really nice and it has like a really nice wide neckline and then it has like it comes down like this so it's like <sighs> exposed I would have to wear that like over a black turtleneck and at that point I just don't think it's like really like my style as much as I love the piece and I would you know what they need to make a different rendition of that can we make a different rendition of that like it get like a long sleeve with maybe like a like a like a thing here i don't know it'd be a great piece but anyways i plan on styling this with i have a nice like black um not like a line but it's kind of goes like a mermaid ish um black mini skirt and i might do it with like a belt or something i need to find the right belt but I just thought this was pretty and then if these are like not overstretched but like stretched a little bit it kind of gives like a little bit of a peekaboo which I think is beautiful and I loved the color for my skin tone it just kind of warms things up a little bit because I'm into the brown tones lately and if I keep looking at the viewfinder I'm sorry I'm just trying to like see everything so I got this set in brown and I know this doesn't look like much, but the model wearing it was fab. And I was like, I need this set. So these, they're kind of like a straight leg. They're kind of wide. So they might be a little croppy. And I kind of, I just liked the way they sat on her. And then it has this, okay, the top was this really cool um, kind of turtleneck but it has like this huge slit down the front, which I was like, oh, that's cool. And it's long, so it covers the bum. So this is something that, honestly, I could like make this like really elevated and if I really could or wanted to, probably could wear it for work as long as it doesn't show any of my stomach because that and then I would be scarred. But I thought that was really cool and I want to do it with like these little strappy sandals. Like honestly, if I had some Amina Muwadi heels sandals with like the little rhinestones like oh that'd be so nice but maybe one day i'm kind of trying to like have some goals and there's a few key pieces that i want to acquire before i start getting into like all those other brands as much as i love all that stuff you know at one one thing at a time trying to furnish the house first over time and I have a few key bags that I really really want plus I have like investments that I want to get into and do more of so 
it's just all like a balancing act and like uh yeah like things have been just a wild ride over the last like few years and like school obviously doesn't help with having to have had paid for that and it wasn't cheap from zara was this really beautiful chanel inspired cardigan sorry blazer and i was saying cardigan because i actually have an h&m cardigan that is the reverse of this it's white with like black and so i was like ooh. and i almost bought the they have it also in black with white so they have it in the two like opposing color combinations and i was gonna buy the black but their website is down and they freaking hate me or something and i can't buy anything so maybe they fixed that but they didn't want my money so i went over to zara and i actually found a piece that i like better and it's super cute and structured and I wanted to pair it with like wearing this all the way down as like a top almost. And then I have a nice like black A-line mini skirt that I got from Dynamite. So I kind of wanted to pair it with that and with my like heeled pointed toe boots. And I thought that would look so sleek. I do have to do my hair for that because I don't think I want to do a sleek bun because otherwise that'll just look like like old person like I kind of want to do it like fresh new look on Chanel and on like a younger vibe of Chanel without actually buying the Chanel one because it's probably tens of thousands or like in there so I really liked that and then the buttons are really beautiful they have like a nice like emblem on them so that is what I picked up from Zara. So they have some good pieces for spring. So if you guys haven't gone over there, obviously be conscious with the items that you are buying. Like don't just buy it to wear it once and throw it away. Like if you're going to buy something, please wear it more than one time. Because I see so many, so many bloggers, influencers that buy items to wear them once. And I'm like... That is insanely wasteful. Or they get sent pieces. Like I've been sent lots of clothing from different brands and shoes and makeup and skincare and all that stuff. And I am very appreciative for everything that gets sent to me. But I will not sit, like wear it once and then just like leave it in like the wardrobe graveyard. Like that's just not fair for one like sharing items that you don't actually like like please like consider when you are sharing something make sure it's something that you actually want to share and just something like to for you guys to note from me i will not work with brands unless i truly think that they fit with my like my mo so if i don't think that they fit with like who i am as a person i probably will not work with them it's even like if they offer money, I know a lot of people say this, but it's just something that I, I can't do. Like if I had to, I know a lot of girls work with like very inexpensive, like cheaper brands and just like the clothes are throwaway. Like they do not last. Like they do have premium lines, which like are better. Yes, I do shop at H&M, I do shop at Zara, but I do buy from their classic and premium collections usually so the quality of the pieces is better and I do pay attention to that so just something to consider when you are shopping and working with different brands consider if it's something that you truly feel like fits your brand and something you want to share with your followers because you have to understand too that you showing that means you are trying to influence people to also you know go and do what you do or go and purchase what you purchase so this is something that I'm trying to be like more true to myself and true to who I am as to who I'm sharing with you like this is me like from the bottom of my heart like I'm not trying to fake anything for you guys like I'm not Instagram is you know it is does highlight a lot of things but I'm trying to like bring it back down to earth for me and just literally like I'm showing you my outfits in my house I'm showing you my house, I'm showing you kind of things that I eat, I'm showing you my dog, I'm showing you like the very mundane aspects of life and just how I optimize them and how I, you know, live my life to the fullest and like how I feel like that is how it is 90% of the time for like a lot of people. I don't understand where all these girls are 
yeah, I don't even get it. Do they go out and they just shoot these pictures like crazy, 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 like out on these the streets? And it's just like, uh, is it genuine? I don't know. Because I do know a lot of people that just bring a whole swath load of clothes and like they just go and shoot in like cool locations. That's fine if that's your intention, but. That's not my intention. Usually when you guys see outfits, those are what I'm wearing that day. Hi, boo-boo! Wow, we have a nice interruption. Amazing. Oh my god! Guys, these look like the waffle emojis. Do you see that? That looks like the waffle emoji. I need a photo of this. Okay. Sorry guys, I was interrupted for a waffle eating break and it was so so good i showed you guys they literally look like the waffle emoji it was so cute um anyways it was kind of like perfect timing because i was honestly just trying to say like just be genuine moral of the story like just be genuine with people don't just like buy things and wear them once or whatever it is just like if you're gonna get something just keep in mind that things should be thrown away that fast there is a long train of people that go through making different items and it's just like, let's just not throw things away. Um, recycle them, you know, buy secondhand, whatever. Whatever it is that you do, just be conscious and be genuine. That's all. Um, so I thought let's do a quick little studio update while I have some time to do that. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Probably a long one. And there's a bunch of things in here that you guys will see that will not be in here once I clean up. Okay, so I just thought you guys know the couch and all the crazy amounts of clothes that I just showed you. Not really crazy, but anyways, so this wall, there is a plan for this wall. So stay tuned for that project. Um, I ended up buying these baskets from HomeSense because I really wanted like a cozy kind of vibe in here when I'm shooting or if I need a different scene or if I just want to hang out in here. Um, so I have some blankets in one basket. That pillow is from Anthropology, and I honestly just don't know where to put it in the house. It might go down in the guest room once that's finished. Not sure yet. So for now, it's just chilling in here. Which is not bad, it's just like a different color than the couch, so I really don't know what to do. And then I have a bunch of magazines and stuff that I do like, but I just never have a place to like put magazines. So I thought this was like a perfect little basket, do like a little thing instead of doing a side table on this side. But I might consider getting a third piece of the sofa. But I also have a mirror coming, so I might shift the sofa over and then put the mirror right here on this wall. I'm not too sure. The mirror is quite wide, but I don't know where it's gonna go yet. Another thing is this rug. I love it. It's from EQ3. It's the great rug, but can we see how small it is? <laughs> it doesn't fit in here anymore. It was good with the desk that I had to just like kind of be the desk rug but I need a rug that's bigger so I'm currently looking and there's also a rug story for the dining room that I will explain to you guys it was kind of a huge debacle but anyways it's kind of just a shit show so I'll explain that later um I ended up getting this new pillow just to kind of give it I love like the vintagey vibe or look you guys can see I also have it on these bowls and it's just like there's Gucci wallpaper that looks like this and I kind of want to do it in the bathroom in the, on the main floor because I think it's just like so like Parisian and like to do like one small room of that would be so cool. So maybe one day we'll have Gucci wallpaper down in there, which is great. Um, my little, you know stool is from Zara home you guys have seen this everywhere and I kind of just like move it around to kind of like put my coffee on like I'm showing you so that is good but I am also that side table that you guys have seen was in our last apartment and these are actually this is supposed to be in the guest room downstairs because I have two of them 
But I'm trying to find the right side table for this room. I don't know, I haven't found one yet. I kind of want something circular, but at the same time, I also have this circular ottoman. So I don't know what I want. Maybe I want a square. I don't know if I want black. I don't know if I want brown. So that is kind of on hold, trying to figure that out. And the lamp, this lamp is supposed to be in the wardrobe room because I don't know, it's, I love these simple lamps from Ikea and I had them on my desk, but I kind of want something with a little bit more of like a bulky base to kind of give it some like, you know, some weight. This just seems very like dainty. And obviously when you guys see it, like once this wall is full of what I'm doing, I'm giving you as a very like good idea <laughs> that, um, this will just look kind of funny, so I'm trying to find something for there. And it's just sitting on top of my Kelly Weisler book, which I got at HomeSense for a very good deal. So guys, definitely check HomeSense, Home Goods, wherever you are, because they have really good deals on books. And that book was like so expensive, and I got it for such a good deal. And then this is just another vase that I have that I will be putting some flowers in once more flowers come in. Um, and then a really exciting thing that we just did recently last weekend is we put up some new curtains. It looks a little dark when I'm showing from this angle, but I really did want to do like full like wall to wall, but then I thought about it for a minute and I was like, no, I don't want to do wall to wall. I just kind of want to do just the windows and I might do a cool little like art piece right there. I have like one there that's kind of temp. I just liked that print and I just wanted to put it up. So that might be moving because I want something bigger over there or yeah, I'm not too sure. But and those boxes and this ladder thing, I need this because I was going to steam out the curtains after they like sat for a day or two. It's been a week. I definitely can steam them now. And you guys obviously know my little like ring light tripod and those boxes still need to move. And then my bookcases haven't changed. And you guys definitely know it's like a chaotic, organized chaos under there. So it's just all skincare. Um, and then my ottoman, I don't know if I've mentioned my beautiful, my beautiful, beautiful, flowers that were sent to me by Kalia. For some reason the lilies aren't doing so hot. So I might go to, I don't know, but the good thing about these lilies is that these little things aren't falling off, which I had lilies that those were falling off and like they stained the ottoman in one spot. Luckily you can't really see it anymore. Kind of got most of the stain out. But these beautiful flowers from my friends over at Kalia. And then this little um, tray is from indigo and I really just wanted to have a ottoman that looks like this but I kind of want something bigger for in here like something maybe like square and big I'm not sure yet this we had that in the apartment too and I really like it it goes really well with the coffee table in the living room but I just needed something up here so this may it could always go back down into the living room to make like a cool like double thing but I don't know we kind of want a new coffee table let's go get some coffee yeah coffee time I'm actually like, getting a headache because I haven't had coffee yet it's really bad it's really bad guys good morning it's the next day I haven't if you can't tell oh we don't need this so uh, I, the battery's also gonna die, so I'm gonna be quick, but we didn't. I didn't touch it, I got so close. <laughs> so I didn't film anything after I got home yesterday. It's kind of just a little, a little boring, um, but we're going to get coffee because I have the day off and you now have the day off. Stefan went to a meeting, but he told them off. that he is, it's a holiday, so he's taking the day off. Um, Imagine they watch these vlogs. I don't think your office is going to watch these vlogs, but it'd be interesting if they did find them. But anyways, we're gonna go get a coffee and then come back home and then just, I'm gonna do work anyway. Exciting. I have 
a last, I have actually the last of one of my campaigns to shoot and then it's done. Then that campaign is over. No more! Six month campaign done. It's kind of crazy. Fun! Okay. We're gonna get coffee now. Okay, you guys. So I just sent, I just shot a few reels. One, well, two outfit ones, but like of this outfit. And then I did one of the campaigns that I said I was gonna do to finish. And so that's done. And then now, what else am I doing? So that's done. I have to finish a different campaign. And then that was already previously set that I mentioned, but I got some mail from a brand that I am very excited to see. And I have never shopped from them. I've seen other influencers and bloggers shop from them, but... So this is a brand called Nap, Nap Loungewear. I don't honestly know where they're from, but the tag and the branding was really cute. So I'm in intrigued to see. So I already have a camel coat like this, but I don't know. Let's see if this one looks cute on. It's gonna look different than the other one I have because I know the other one I have is like a quite fitted. You guys are not gonna be able to see, but I'll move you back here oh yeah it's like a big like slouchy fit you can kind of get the vibe oh what is this for is this for on the inside or for the outside there's like a thingy is there a belt am i like is there like a belt in here oh to make the sleeves shorter oh i see that could be cool the hell do I like go like this I guess you can like roll up the sleeves and make those shorter but that's kind of fun it's like very slouchy which I'm kind of like into I don't think I do it with this outfit that I have underneath because it's like too much camel and brown tones but it's really cute we love it okay guys so it's a bit later and I just ended up finishing shooting like four different outfit reels and finishing two campaigns so it was a good little productive spat um or spurt whatever you want to call it but now since i think i only have about an hour left of light i'm going to see if I can get like an outfit photo in outside, I don't think it's really going to happen, but we will see. I kind of have to like steam out a jacket and then try to figure out what I want to do for that. So we will try, but we may not be successful. Other than that, I don't really know. There's not really much else on the plan for today. I'm going to edit a video for YouTube and then that will go live. And that's kind of the only other thing. And then just some admin work later today. So it's already five. I mean, I don't really want to be going to bed at like two. So uh, some admin work and some editing. And the editing is probably going to take a while. So I'm not really sure how much work I'm going to be able to get done today. I'm also kind of getting a little bit hungry, but that's just how it goes. Oh, and then some cleaning and then some prepping for the week and then yeah kind of just go from there so that's the plan sorry I didn't show you guys but I wanted to say not the okay well nipple but this little cardigan from Zara is so cute and honestly it's so cozy and comfy so I highly recommend it's going to be posted shortly on the rails but yeah it's such a good little piece so snag it before it's gone because we all know that Zara is absolutely effed and things go out of stock quick quickly so that's the plan 
and then I'm going to prep. So I have enough reels literally for the entire week of outfits, but then that's also me like outfit planning for my week. Does that make any sense? I feel like it was like a good way for me to outfit plan what I wanna wear this week. Um, and then I mean, there might be some slight changes, but overall it's kind of a fun way to do it. And then it's not like, takes much more effort than that because it's taken me all day. What is this piece of hair? Oh God, okay. And then I have no idea what we're eating. Might be ordering pizza. I'm kind of tempted. 